All right, I'm going to be showing you how to actually wrap the end of the cabin tree. What I did before, I used blue tape, I put it against the wall. Uh, the reason why is because I don't want to damage the wall from the sticker, from the, the vinyl hitting that, and then when you're taking it off, it rips the wall and the texture, so I'm playing it safe, and I'm going to put it here. Next thing I did was I used Primer 94 around the edges, around the corners right here and what I'm going to do is hit this right here first and then hit this top or front part next. Okay, what I did is I pulled this thing down about four inches, not to tack. Also I used the bodyguard from Yellow Tools and I cut one inch area right about here. The reason why is I want the vinyl to come up and over and I just want to pull this backing off and leave this backing on just to afford a little more protection. So I'm going to try to do this while I'm not in your way watching this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it on first. I'm barely putting any pressure on it. Okay, the next thing I do, I'm making sure it's overlapped here, also overlapped here, and that's so I can put the, my knife and cut it right about here. Okay? So I'm pretty happy where, where I'm at right now. This one is a little more challenging, so I'm just going to use a, a squeegee with a felt on the bottom, the back end of it. Also, I'm going to use my blade. And we're just going to shove this up here, get it nice and tight. I'm going to grab the backing and I'm going to slowly kind of walk it down like every four inches. And I'm putting a little pressure on, on the squeegee. And you kind of feel making sure you got all the air bubbled on or it, sometimes you don't see it, it's like a little little dust or a little rock that gets in there for some reason and you just have to pull it up, put it right back down. Okay, for the backing, uh, on my workstation on the left side, I have all the backing laying flat down so at the end of the job, I just have to roll it up and put it, put it away. I don't, I like to stay organized and clean. I don't like, I want to trip over things Okay. Speaking of which, there was a little rock right here. So I pulled it up. And put it back down now. And I'll put pictures before and after on my website. On this one, what I'm going to do, I know you can't see, but I'm shoving the vinyl as far as I can, or hard as I can on here, making sure it's all snapped in right. Okay? I'm going to cut the bottom, just a, not all the way, but I'm going to cut the bottom. Grab the bottom and I'm just going to cut along the edge, like what I'm doing right here, but down below. I'm going to go along the edge. This is a little detail stuff. Okay. Next, I was going to take my knife. I want to, I'm going to get the vinyl and uh, put the vinyl on top of this and over here, but I'm going to overlap it and bring it in. But the best where I see the best is uh, vinyl on top of vinyl. It's, it gets a little more stickier. So you're overlapping the vinyl on this side right here. So I'm just gonna grab and get a little excess off and I'm gonna grab and pull down. Okay. Next is I'm gonna make sure it's not having any excess over and you can see 
little excess I have over it. It's just the final little details. And if you can grab your finger and go like this, if you can grab it, that means um, you're gonna see the vinyl. Okay, next thing I do, hopefully you guys can see this. I'm gonna pull the backing off. Put the trash over there. Now, next thing, same thing over here. I'm shoving it here. I'm, I'm going quick so it doesn't grab. Okay. Next thing is, I use my squeegee, and I, now I'm going to treat it like a guard. I'm going to shove it right there. I'm going to take my knife, and I'm just going to walk it down. Now, I'm going to take the tape off. Actually, I could probably use it on the wall over there behind me. Last, I'm going to put it here on the edge. So you get a nice, clean edge cut on this. So now, I start to transform into something cool. Very modern and everything. I like the look of it. All right, that's the next step I do. Like I said, if you've got any comments or questions, comment down below. Uh, if you're learning things, subscribe to me. And also, uh, what else is there? All the tips and tricks are on the um, on the armwrapsstore.com. And there's videos on how to do other things. But uh, like I said, if you've got any comments or questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys.